Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this look, which you can't see because I have glasses on because they're stuck in my braids. I had to braid my hair because I don't wash my hair because I'm gross and I want my hair to be healthy, but mostly because I'm gross. I'm really bad at braids, so don't look. And I look really ugly with them, so also don't look. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you this look today. This popped up on my Twitter feed. Let me like scoop my fat face over so I can show you the picture. This popped up on my Twitter feed. I can't remember for the life of me and I can't find for the life of me where it came from. But I really liked it. I thought that I liked the picture, but I went through my Twitter and I can't find it anywhere. I was like, yeah, that's really good. You know, I really like that. And I thought I saved it, but I didn't. Luckily the next day, one of my friends actually sent it to me and she was like, hey, can you recreate this look? And I was like, hell yeah, I wanted to anyways. Thank God she sent it to me because I would have been fucked if she didn't. So I saved it and I was like, yeah, I want to re recreate this. and. This weekend slash this week has been crazy. I've been covering a bunch of shifts for my coworkers sick at the moment. So I am filming this Saturday night. So I don't know when this video is gonna be up, but I apologize that it took so long. Here's my recreation. If you wanna see how I did it, just keep watching and bye. Okay, so to start, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my eyes. I just took off my makeup. I've been using the Olay Daily Facial Wipes, the ones that are like wet to dry. You get them wet and they get all foamy. They are amazing. I turn my coworker on to them and everything. They take off your makeup so good and I feel like they've been doing a pretty good job of helping clear my skin as well. But anyways, so I'm just going to moisturize my under eyes with the Origins Ginseng Under Eye Cream so I have a good base. I've heard and seen so many good things about this under eye cream about how it actually makes your under eyes brighten and it actually can make them less dark and stuff and I've seen the results on a lot of people so I really I just ran out of my belief under eye cream so I thought I would give this one a shot plus if it does the same thing that the Dr. Dennis Gross one does then this one's only $30 and that one's $65 I'm a I'm gonna use this, okay? Now, because this look is a little bit more, I guess you could say on the natural side, I'm actually gonna be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, just the regular basic one because there's not a whole lot of color to it. I don't really want to kind of black out my eyelid like I usually do, just like completely cover everything. I've been really lazy about my makeup lately and I haven't really been using primer anyway, so I'm just going to give it a good base to stick to instead. Also, I used to use the Eden Urban Decay Eye Primer all the time, but I stopped because the color was so wrong for me, it was making me look horrible. But I've never used this one before, so we'll see how it does. Okay, my skin is feeling a little bit dry right now, so I'm actually going to prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I think this was a collaboration with Nicole Concilio or something. I'm not like a fan of her, but this is coconut scented, bitch. This shit smells so good. And I never used the primer water before I saw that one, so I like it a lot. It feels so good on your skin. It's like nice and sticky, nice and moisturizing. Oh, so good. So after looking at kind of like the color palette of this look, I think I'm just gonna be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I might jump around to some other colors here and there, but I think that this should, eh, kinda, I might need one different shade from something else, but this should fit the look decently well. Honestly, really surprised that they didn't put like a, that shimmery orange color that she uses on the inner corner. I'm really surprised they don't have a color like that in here. So I'm gonna be using, this is by Day Logic, I believe, but this is just a, Pretty good size eyeshadow brush here. And in the Sweet Peach palette, I'm gonna be going into the shade Puree, which is this guy right here. It's kind of like a orangey, warm brown, whatever type of shade. So a couple good options would be if you have the Soft Glam palette, Burnt Orange would be a good one to use instead. If you have the Modern Renaissance palette, I think Raw Sienna should be a pretty good comparable shade as well. So I'm just going to take Puree on that little round brush and I'm going to apply this directly onto the lid. making slow kind of circular motions to blend that up a little bit not too much you don't really want it hanging out of the crease a whole ton Now 
Now I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm gonna go over the edges of that orange and just give it a nice blend. So it looks like her wings are actually done with eyeshadow. And I think I have just the brush to do that with. So if you're less than confident in your ability to make a wing, you can always tape off the eye and just follow that. I'm not one to care too much though. Again, going into the Sweet Peach palette, I'm taking the shade Charmed, I'm sure. Kind of like a darker brown. I might end up doing something a little darker, but I wanna see how this works first. So I'm just taking this on the outer corner and I'm gonna draw the wing first. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, this is the brush that I'm using. It is like a little tiny flat brush. This one's from Real Techniques and it's called the Accent Brush. Okay, so from where I winged it out, I'm gonna start pulling it back in. I don't have any brown eyeliner too, so at least not in pencil form. I had one and then I used it to do my friend's makeup and I don't know if I gave it to her or what, but it's just kind of gone. pretty good. This is the eye I really struggle with on my wings though, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, that's way different than this one already. God damn it. Just make up, it wipes off. Okay, so there's that so far. If you have a brown eyeliner, I would go ahead and deepen this part up right here. I don't, so I'm gonna take, yeah, I'm gonna take this shade Cypress Umber from the Modern Renaissance palette, and that's kind of like a dark brown, but it's a little bit more on the warm side. So I'm gonna take that and deepen up this lash line. Now the color that she uses on the inner corner is very interesting and it's kind of like it, the coolest part of this look. So I'm trying to figure out, I think that the Naked Heat palette might be a good choice for this. I was thinking about doing, um, I have the shade from Buxom, but I think it's gonna be a little bit too gold and not quite enough pink, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't look quite right. I'm gonna swatch a few shades on the back of my hand and compare it to the photo and then I'll pick which one I wanna do. You know, I wonder if this is, if they use the Naked Heat palette to do this look. These shades are really similar. It looks like a cross between Lumber and Dirty Talk from the Naked Heat palette would be maybe the best choice. So that's gonna be these two shades right here. Honestly, any duochrome orange eyeshadow that you have should be okay. Let me show you a couple swatches here. I might do a little bit of mixing. Okay, so on my hand, this closest color here going to the furthest one. First one is the color Scorched. Second one is the color Dirty Talk. The one in the middle is that Buxom shade that I think is gonna be way off. And the last one is the shade Lumber. So I'm kind of having a hard time choosing between this first one and the last one. I think I'm just gonna mix them. So for this, I'm taking a flat shader brush. This is from Vintage Cosmetics. This one is called For The Money. Uh, so you can kind of see what type of brush I'm using. And I'm gonna be going into Scorched and Lumber and mixing the two. And I'm gonna tap my brush off a lot. And then I'm just gonna apply this on the inner corner. That felt so awkward to put makeup there. I've never done that before. I've never intentionally made the first part of my eye like this focus of a look. So now I'm just gonna be taking the first brush that I used and I'm just going to buff this out. look at her photo the more I realize she doesn't really have anything kind of coming out of the crease there and I think that that me may, may be kind of fucking this up a little. <laughs> I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and kind of clean that up. 
Okay, so I think that that kind of helped a little. Not on this eye. Fucking Jesus, what am I doing? I'm just spreading makeup around my face. Eh, that's fine. Either way, whatever. You get the gist. Okay, I'm gonna apply some concealer. I'm just using the Glossier Stretch Concealer in the lightest shade. Also, this is the other thing. If you didn't use tape or whatever, you can use a concealer brush to clean up your wing. I'm all right with mine. I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Okay, so in this picture, it pretty much just looks like she has concealer on and maybe a little blush, but not much else. It seems like the focus is mostly on the eyes and the eyebrows and a little bit of lipstick that I'm not gonna be putting on because I don't own anything pink, <laughs> at least not that kind of pink. I have like the uh, deathly nude pink, but that's not that shade. For her lower lash line, it looks like she took a deeper orange and kind of a bronzy brown type of color. So I'm gonna go back into the Sweet Peach palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Summer Yum. It's kind of like a deepened, burnt orange color. I'm gonna be taking a small blending brush going into Summer Yum. And they have this pretty smoked out on the lower lash line, not crazy, but I'm gonna bring that all the way across this lash line here. And honestly, I hate bringing color all the way up into my tear duct, but they do that for this look. So I am just lightly pulling that forward. So you want this to be kind of the biggest area, the biggest blown out area, and the front should be the least. A good way to follow your lower lash line and how much you should be smoking it out is when you go like this. You can see where your eye curves right there. That's about where I fill mine in too. Now I'm gonna clean off my brush. And blend this out. For this next part, I'm gonna be taking a different flat brush. This one has a little bit more hair to it than the one that we used to do the wings, so it's a little bit thicker. And once again in the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, I'm going to be going into the shade Caramelize this time. That is this one. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow shades of all time. I'm going to take that on this brush and I'm going to place this on the outer corner. And almost join it into the liner. And I'm also going to put this on the waterline. Okay, so that's a little bit, it's kind of hard to see with my lighting, but that's a really pretty shimmery bronze color. Let me clean up the corner over here a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some, it. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes first. By the way, I'm using the Maybelline Total Lash Temptation, surprise, surprise. Same mascara I've been using every day for three months. Okay, it also looks like she is wearing lower lash mascara, but just a little, so I'm gonna do that. We'll see if I can do a little, but okay. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's kind of my jam. Look how big my eyes look. Holy shit. How did I fucking take this so far? Now on to the next important part of this look, which is the eyebrows. I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop Brow Boss, just the clear one. I'm gonna run this through my brows and I'm going to pull them straight up. And then on the end, they're gonna go straight out. Although, this one hair, that guy, he will never leave. Why won't you just go away? So my eyebrows are so coarse, I don't really have the type that you can like fluffy, do fluffy brows. I don't, I can't really do that. I've never seen anyone else that can't do fluffy brows like I can't. So, especially on this one, this eyebrow fucking hates me. So what you can do, you know, just do what you can do. That's what I'm doing, I'm just doing what I can do. 
like the front hairs don't grow and then these ones are so fucking long. Uh, like that's where I'm, I want my brows to be fluffy in the front and they just won't. Okay, so the deal with this brow gel is that it comes out white and then I just kind of like press it in. And it'll lay your hairs out and the white shit goes away. And I bought this because Kathleen Lights said that it's like so brown. So I bought it. You know, I thought her eyebrows didn't look that crazy in the picture. They really do look this crazy. So I'm gonna trim this one hair that refuses to go in any direction. And this one that's really long, just trim a little. And same with the one on this side that's really long. Clap, clap, clap. Almost got a scissor to the eye right there. And it doesn't look like she fills them in at all, so I guess I'm just gonna leave it like that, I guess. I feel like me not having blue eyes makes this look like, like so dark and like scary on me. That's okay, I'm a spooky little bitch. Just, you know, I'm, I'm a spooky little bitch. That went way too far. I think I really overdid the bottom lash mascara and that's kind of where I went wrong here. So she looks super dewy and like amazing. So I'm gonna take my Pacifica Crystal Power Spray Hydro Mist. Now I'm all doing shit. I didn't set my under eye concealer, but I'm not going to because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just taking this off and I don't feel like it. I think if you want to go the whole nine with this, use the It Cosmetics CC Cream Foundation and that would be good with this. Also, her under eyes look really light and like dewy. So the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, I think, or whatever, would work really well too. Dude, is that it for this look? No, I need blush. So her blush is just like barely noticeable. I'm gonna be using the Physicians Formula Natural Glow Blush. I know it looks like bright yellow in this band, but it's pink, it's peachy, it's just got a little bit of highlight. so pretty though it's like when I face forward my cheeks are like pink and cute and when I turn on the side it's like glowy and sexy. Why is my camera so not flattering on me right now? It's like it changes its mind every day on if it likes me or not. I always be making my nose look big and shit. Okay listen I know I said I'm not doing this, this stupid pink lipstick but let me see what I got okay. This is not even remotely close and this is probably gonna look like shit but I never wear it and I just wanna wear it I just wanna wear it once I just wanna try it so this is the NARS whatever this is covered in vape juice it's power matte lip pigment in the shade get it on this is not gonna look good with this I hate it I hate this I hate this color so much why did I do this? I don't have any makeup wipes near me that don't require watering, but I put it on, so this is just what we're doing. Okay, I mean, it's like pretty, but like, okay guys, so this is the finished look. You zoom in on the eyeballs here because everything else looks like shit. Here's the finished look. My eyebrows completely fell down. Thanks a lot, brow boss. Yeah, so this is it. I did my best. It wasn't good enough but I mean I'm not crying about it you know I hope that this was pretty easy to follow and that it looks better on you than it does on me I mean I don't I'm not saying it looks bad but like if you have blue eyes I just think that this is gonna look a lot better on you and it'll look a lot more like the picture I feel like the darkness of my eyes and like my crazy eyelashes kind of really darken this up a lot but anyways if you like it let me know if you hate it fuck off no I'm just kidding leave a comment oh wait I have to show you my cute glasses before I go I got Ray-Bans for like seeing glasses. You can't, this looks crazy because of the lights in here, but they're really cute. They're like really cute when I don't have makeup on, you know, you just want to be like a little, when you don't have makeup on. Yeah, that's why I got these. Oh shit, it's stuck in my braids. Okay, these are just staying on for the rest of the video. Anyways, don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe. If you want to see it, or if you don't want to miss one I post, make sure you hit the notification bell. Cause I'm such a small channel, chances are I'm not gonna show up on your homepage. So if you want to make sure you don't miss what I post, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I don't know if I'm gonna have to post on Sunday again next week, but there's a pretty good chance. So sorry in advance. If you want 
want to, you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Both will be linked down below and both are snake underscore adia. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.